Hundreds from all over the world gathered outside the Museum of Idaho to see a once-in-a-lifetime phenomenon, a total solar eclipse. All the way across the country in about a 70-mile strip of darkness for about two minutes roughly, all the way to South Carolina in northern Georgia. In Idaho Falls, this is the first eclipse for centuries to come through our town, and it'll be the only eclipse for centuries to come. Um, the next one's in 2252. Before experiencing full totality, the crowd viewed a partial eclipse. They even got to see unique shadows created by the partial eclipse. An official from the Jet Propulsion Laboratory helped nominate the Museum of Idaho as one of NASA's official viewing sites in the country. This belt along the valley had the best chance to have blue skies. Traditionally, for the last hundred years, we have been dry with no clouds, and that's why they picked us. Officials told us before the eclipse that during totality, it would be almost completely dark. The sun's corona could be any color, but typically it appears to be white. It'll just be a hole in the sky. And for about a minute and 40 seconds, we should be able to see the coronas coming off of the sun. We'll be able to see four different planets. So you'll be able to see the stars. You'll be able to um, really get a like 360 sunset sort of view. Uh, so it'll be really special. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it's getting dark. And after viewing the total eclipse, the crowd was still in awe. I don't think you can describe it. That was so cool. I got chills all over my whole body. Um, awesome. Literally almost cried. It was so beautiful. <laughs> in Idaho Falls, I'm Natalia Hepworth, EastIdahoNews.com. Thank <laughs> you.